Hi. In this video, I want to show you the latest features of the Driver Settings app. The current version is 3.2. You start by adding a driver. Enter your name. Select an icon and click Add. You can now go to the settings and select your individual preferences for this profile. Let's go over the available options. Every time you start the car, the settings will be applied automatically. You can select one of the driving modes. If you have the gasoline model, disable the start-stop function. In the alerts section, you can silence all the alerts like the speed limit assist. Turn off the DMS camera. This is currently available only for the gasoline model, but will be updated soon for all models. In the safety features, you can disable lane departure prevention, an emergency lane keeping assistant, and make the car stop driving for you. You also have an option to turn off all the automatic braking systems, but I would strongly advise against it. They don't really bother you, but may help in an emergency situation. Those settings are specific for the PHV model. You can select the power saving mode, most prefer the smart mode, and can also set the energy recovery intensity. In the comfort section, you have some option as well. You can choose to open the sunshade alone and the sunshade with the sunroof. You have an option to turn on seat heating, and you can select the intensity you want of the three available levels. And the same applies for seat ventilation. So you can enable seats ventilation and the intensity, or even turn on steering wheel heating. If you have multiple profiles and your model has seat memory, you can enable the memory seat position. Just move the seat to the position you like. Click the update button and you can do the same for other profiles as well. So you enable the option, move your seat to the position you want and click update. Also, there is a Wi-Fi section where you can connect your phone hotspot. To remove a driver profile, you can long click on the profile name. To check if the app has updates, click on the I button. The app gets updates all the time, so make sure you have the latest version. Also, you have gesture shortcuts. With four fingers swipe up, you get the multitasking menu. If you have more than one driver profile from anywhere on the screen, Swipe up with two fingers up and you can quickly select the driver you want. And you don't need to open the driver setting app. You just swipe up and select your profile and the setting you like and the seat positions adjust automatically. Another feature is swiping left with two fingers to move ways to the instrument cluster. And two fingers right to move it back to the main screen. For the left-sided countries, the swipe directions are reversed. You can control the AC with three fingers. Three fingers up or down to control the temperature. And three fingers left or right to control the fan speed. You have an app store that you can basically install every app available. And a new feature is that you can install apps from a USB drive. And this is it. Thank you for watching.